Hi, when you open the Praxis Charts link, you're going to see something like that. The Praxis goal is to guide you through the start, the end, including all the decisions and including all the if statements throughout the workflow's journey. We're going to start by following this way. Then we will follow this way. After, after that, we will start following that way, this way, or that way. So, start design process, opening Revit, then we're going to start a project, in a project template, which is going to lead me to a project environment. Now, we will have to decide. We said our first way we're going to follow is that way. So, this is the easiest way I can follow, which is basically just continuing my design in Revit, opening an in place family, and start designing my mass. Now, the second way is going to be starting Fusion. So, in this decision, I'll have to decide whether I continue in Revit or start Fusion to design my mass. So, if I decide to start Fusion, I'll go to Fusion 360, then opening a T-spline environment, then exporting a SAT file, then I'll have an if statement here, which tells me if the Z orientation of the mass was up, then it will give me a good, or let's say, a correct, true orientation, which leads me to a direct linking into Revit inside in place mass. If it was a Y orientation, which is by default that what happens, unless I've changed it in the preferences of Fusion, which gonna see, which we're gonna see in the next couple of videos, it, then it'll give me a false orientation. I'll have to start Dynamo use refusion it workflow then it will give me a fixed linkable let us say sat file inside an in place mass then i'll finish the mass so after finishing the mass i'll have to go to a decision here this decision allows me to modify the mass continuing to dynamo or simply continuing the BIM process, which is ignoring Dynamo in this case. And I mean by BIM process, I mean having the built elements built on that mass. That includes walls, floors, curtain systems, and roofs. So I'll assume that I have decided to modify that mass. I'll have to go into an if statement here. It tells me it depends on how I started in the first decision. Let's get back to that first decision and take a look. So if I have continued on Revit, started Fusion, those are the first decisions. So if I have continued in Revit, I'll have to go there. If I have started Fusion, I'll go there. So assuming that I have started Fusion, I'll go that way, the Fusion 360 again to opening Fusion, getting that T-spline environment of that file, getting another SAT file, and the same if Z or Y up, then I will have in this case, instead of linking, actually it's going to be reloading the link, so basically the same, and then in place mass, then finishing the mass. And if I have decided that I'll go into Revit way, I will have to go back and loop till I get to in place mass again, edit in place, and then I'll finish the mass. So it again goes the same again, the same loop, till I get to the same decision again. If I want to modify it, I will go to exact same loop again. Then I will have to decide whether Dynamo or continuing the process. Don't worry if there are some parts of this workflow you didn't understand yet. I just wanted to give you an idea of the whole 
process we're getting through now. We're going to start three exercises. Exercise one is going to be using the rivet way with dynamo and then finish. Exercise two is going to be using fusion way with dynamo and rivet then finish. And exercise three we're going to be general troubleshooting and bugs giving some tips and tricks for the whole process. Let's continue.